Hello crafters, I'm Jan B and I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. This technique is called spotlighting and I first saw it demonstrated about four years ago um, on a video done by Dawn Griffiths. So I'm going to show you how to make it. To start off with, the pieces of cardstock you're going to need you're going to need a Whisper White card base which measures eight and a quarter inches by five and three quarters scored at four and one eighth folded a layer of basic black and that measures four inches by five and five eighths a Whisper White layer which measures three and seven eighths by five and a half inches and then you need two pieces for the sentiment here that measure approximately one and a quarter by two and a half inches each. You need a little scrap of basic black, that's for the top of the um, bauble. And you'll also need um, a piece of Whisper White that measures approximately two and a quarter by three and a quarter inches. And this is the one that we're going to be stamping um, the bauble on to cut out for the spotlighting piece. So what I'm going to start with first is my Versamark, that's what I'm after, and I'm going to do uh, my first bauble using uh, black embossing powder. Now the stamp actually comes from embellished ornaments stamp so I'm going to use that um, and also the sentiment from here as well so I'm going to do my ball ball with first mark And even though I'm going to be punching pieces out of this, I'm still going to use my dust buddy because I need the white to actually show through as white. And then I'm just going to stamp that in the centre. So how many times I wash that, that cleans that, it always comes up red. Right now I'm going to pop this onto a piece of paper so I can sprinkle on my black embossing powder. Yes, that looks like I've got a good covering there. Pop that on there. Just get this back into the pot. I'll rest that on there for the time being. Don't want to get rid of that yet. And I'm going to use my heat tool and I'm going to hold it in place with my paper piercer.
giving that a couple of uh, minutes to cool down a bit. I'm going to clean my stamp and I'm going to stamp it in black on my top Whisper White layer. So first of all, I'll get my stamping scrub. If you don't have one of these and you're thinking about getting one, you won't regret it. They are absolutely brilliant. Okay, so now I'm going to bring this piece in. Turn that over. Um, and I'll just get some kitchen towel. This is our black archival ink, which I think is every bit as good as stays on. It's such a lovely coverage with it. Now I'm going to stamp this so that it's about an inch down and in the centre, and hopefully somewhere near straight. But I'm going to bring this down a bit closer to me so that I'm in with a chance. There we go. Isn't that lovely? The quality of this ink is absolutely superb. Okay, so I'm going to close that, keep these out of the way because I'm going to need my big shot in a little while. Now I'm going to bring this one back and I'm going to do some colouring. Now I'm not going to colour all of it because I've already got one here that I've done um, because it can be a little bit time consuming, but I'll just show you how I did it. Um, I'm using Pear Pizzazz, So Saffron and Real Red. I'm using the brush end and first of all with the Pepperzaz I'm going to cover, colour all the holly leaves and the branches and all I'm going to do is go over the lines. I tend to go over a couple of times just so that uh, it takes a nice amount of colour. I could have used a darker ink and maybe only gone once. Um, but I prefer the lighter finish of this. Okay, so that's the first thing I do, go around with all my greens. Doesn't matter if you go outside here because we're going to be punching pieces out of here. And then with the real red, I do all my berries. Nice and easy to do. And there are a couple on the side here. There's one there and there's one very slight one there. And I also use my red for my flower because I like to think that that's meant to be an uh, poinsettia. Okay, so I go over all the petals but I'll leave the centre bit because I like to do that yellow. Okay, so that's what I would do with my red. And then with my So Saffron, I go in and do... Um, I don't know whether they're meant to be stamens or what. Um, but whatever they are, I like them yellow. Okay, so once you've gone round with all of that, you should finish up with something that looks like this. Okay. Nice and shiny. Yes, look at that, beautiful. As you can see, I have gone over the edges. You can see where I've come out here. But as I say, it doesn't matter. So what I will do next is I will very quickly just put my card together. Get my layers done going to use 
Tombow for this because I find this is probably about the quickest. And of course it gives me a little bit of wiggle room as well. There we go. And then I'm going to do this one on top as well. fine. Now with this card what I did was I used my three quarter of an inch circle punch to cut out my the, um, spotlight bits. What I'm going to try this time is I'm going to use a flower punch. Um, it should work but you're going to find out with me whether it does or not. Okay so I'm using the I think this is a pa uh, pansy punch the name would be on the screen and all you need to do is cut out, punch out however many pieces you want. Um, I'm going to try and get three out of here. So what I will do first, I'll cut off some of the edges so that it's easier for my punch to get in there. So let's have one down at the bottom. Now you can do this so they go off the edge if you like. Oh look, I had something on the back of that. Um, as you can see here, I have come off the edge. So that's fine, you can do that. I'm going to try and keep all three of mine actually on the black piece. Let's move up here a bit. Okay, let's try that. And now let's see if I can get a third one. No, no. Well, I can if I come off the edge. Don't think I want to do that. So let's see what this would look like. Um, if you can't remember how you went, you can check it on the negative part you have. Okay, so that's there. That's around about here somewhere. Okay, so we know that that's the flower. Okay, so that fits on really, really nicely. So I'm going to put that in place with Tombow. You could pop them up with dimensionals if you like. I choose not to. Right, where did we say? So can you see how I've lined up all the lines on there? Now this one is going to go somewhere like that. Yes, that looks right. If you have a fair amount of glue on the back, um, 
so that it's nice and easy to keep manoeuvring until you've got it right but not so much that it's going to start oozing out the side that's what happened to me earlier on and uh, <laughs> it was a bit of a mess to tidy up right okay so I need to swivel that round a bit it's okay that's all lined up Oops, don't move. Okay. There's that one. See how all the lines just flow? I could do a couple of smaller things in there if I wanted, but I don't want to. I'm going to leave it as it is. I keep looking at these, thinking, will it go behind? See what I've been experimenting with. Could you use that underneath? A fussy cut round there and then put that on there. So that's one of those things where the jury is still out about now at the moment. Now what I'm going to do is I'll do the sentiment and then I can get the big shot up. So the sentiment is again from the same stamp set and it says thinking of you at Christmas. Take my white piece of cardstock my black archival ink again that's it, that's fine so I'll get my big shot up move these out of the way So what I'm going to do is my little scrap and my white piece. The dies I'm using for the sentiment, I'm using this one from the uh, what was it? Project Life Cards and Labels Framelits. So I'm going to cut that out and then once I've done this I'm going to cut a black one out as well to provide the layering for it. And for the topper that's coming out of the bauble set which is the delicate ornaments thin lips dies and that's for all of these. So just pop that one on top. I'm going to crank that through okay so that comes out nicely and that comes out nicely too So I leave that one there, pop that back before I misplace it, bring this one back in with the black I'm always very good when I've got new cutting uh, plates, very good about making sure I turn them each time I cut with them as well. I'll put that die back, pop that over there and just pop this back on the floor. It doesn't normally live on the floor, it's just that it's easier when I'm videoing. Okay so what I'm going to do is for my sentiment, I'm going to cut this in half.
and on the back of my white piece I'm using my two-way glue pen Going to do one side first. I'd like to have quite a lot of the black showing. Once you've done, if you get any pieces that seem to be sticking out either end, it's quite easy to go back and trim those. And I do some on the other end and pop that down. There we go, that's nice. Um, I don't know why this happens, but it, uh, it shouldn't be seen because they're both the same size. Not. I think it's probably just me being ultra fussy. So I'm going to pop this on with a dimensional at either end and then I'm going to cut one in half for the top and bottom. Okay, so half there. I'll drop this. Where did it go? Okay. Try and get that in the centre. I think that's okay. Get that covered up. And then I'm going to put my topper on with some Tombow. Let's turn that around the other way. I am right-handed. I'm not going to try and get some on the actual hook part, the circle part. I'm just going to pop that on the top now. And then earlier I made a little bow out of our Christmas silver cord. This comes in a pack of two with the um, gold cord as well. And I'm just popping a little piece of little piece, a little drop of Tombow on there. Just hold that down. And then I'll trim the edges off. Once I finish this video, I'll, I'll put this aside and I'll put something heavy on it for it to dry off. So there we go. That's how you do the spotlight effect. This one using flowers. This one using circles. I'll show you another one that I made. Um, it's this one, which is a lot more formal. And what I did was um, I em heat embossed this part with, in fact, no, I heat embossed the whole one with gold embossing powder and then punched that out. So I finish up with this, which again, I'm not quite sure if I can do something with that. May be able to. So that has been saved. Um, when we were at uh, convention last weekend, um, the European director, he did a stamping demonstration and this is the technique that he showed and these are the colours he did, except his was a train and in black and then he did the gold one and punched out a shape and popped it on top. It looked really good, he did well. Um, so yes, I think that's all I have to say about this one. Um, this was the very first one I did. I made a 
boo-boo up in the corners so I've had to do circles on it but this is where I was experimenting with other shapes there's no reason why you can't do these at all so I hope you have fun with this I hope you give it a try um, very quickly let me just show you how I got the gold round the edge there um, I think we're okay for time I did this one, I can't think what the stamp set is, I'm not sure. Oh yes, it's uh, Christmas Cuties, I think. Let's see if I can reach it over here. Yes, Christmas Cuties, in case I've done the little boy there. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with him, but I thought it's absolutely ideal to show you how I got the glitter around the edge. So here I have my dazzling details. And I'm going to use my 2 way glue pen and I'm just going to go around the edge very very tiny amount on the edge Okay, once that's done, just dip it into the dazzling details. This you can use on all sorts of work. I don't think that's lovely. I will do something with that and then post the card on my blog so you can see what my decision was. Um, but that's what I did on here. So that is it. Um, I won't talk any more. Many thanks for watching my video. If you have any questions, please contact me. I'm always happy to help you. If you've enjoyed it, please subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button that is probably on the right hand side of the screen, but it may be underneath. If you'd like to buy any of the products I featured here, please click on the link that's at the bottom of the screen and that'll take you straight to my 24-7 online shop. Um, I would like to ask you if you do um, choose me as your demonstrator and shop in my um, online shop, um, when you set up your account, please don't tick that I can't contact you. Um, if you do that, it means I can't send you a thank you gift and I'm not allowed to send you new catalogues uh, when they become available. Um, and I really do like to um, do those things for my customers because I really appreciate your business. Many thanks for joining me today. Until next time, happy crafting. Cheerio.